Hey there guys, Spexy here with another little side project I've been making in GDevelop 5. I haven't given up on the Mandavania thing, I've just kind of put it in the back burner for a while because I needed a break from it. I'm calling this game Spell Unkin, because as you can see it's got a little bit in common with Spelunka, and Spelunkin means cave uh, exploration I guess. And this game is going to have that, as well as a spelling element, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. Uh, but yeah, you can pick up the treasure, as you can see, adds to the score. That took a little bit more working out than I would like to admit. Um, if I stay under the water, you'll see the air meter goes down. I let a bit of get out and get my air back. There you go. If I go back in again, you'll notice there's a nice little splash upon entry, which was another little thing I've done. And if you want to see tutorials on this, please let me know. I will show you guys how I've done this if you're interested. As you see, then the air meter goes down. If I don't go to the surface, it will run out. As it gets low, you start to panic. His cheeks go red and he, uh, he starts swimming a little bit faster to give you an opportunity to try and get out. Unfortunately, if you don't get out, and I'm not going to right now, then the inevitable is going to happen once the energy has run out. And that is suffocation by water. In other words, drowning. And there you go. I've got a working checkpoint which takes you back to where you last were before you entered the water or before you died to stop you dying nastily again immediately. And if I stay to the top, you can see my air meter is topping up nicely there. And we also go a little bit slower whilst we're in the water, which works quite nicely as well. We've got a couple of different types of treasure, as you can see up there, a goblet and a treasure chest. Ouch! Bats will hit you in the head if you're not paying attention, as I weren't there. And we've got the obligatory rope swing, as was the bane of most gamers' lives in the early 80s, in games like Pitfall and Jungle King, or Jungle Hunt, as it was also known. Yeah, so works pretty much the same as it did on the 8-bit computers and arcade games back in the day. You kind of have to grab the end of the rope there, and he kind of looks like he's swinging with it. It's a little bit janky, a little bit jerky, uh, but it's the best I can do at the moment. I'm actually surprised I managed to do it at all. You have to kind of jump and hit the end of the rope, if I can do it. You can do this. The middle rope is going at a slightly different speed to guarantee that there'll always be an opportunity to jump and reach it. So they will come into alignment. Uh, and let's go for this. There we go. So it can be done, as you can see. Oh, slippery vine. I almost fell there. So yeah, it's all going rather nicely, as you can see at the moment. And as I say, I haven't actually ditched the Mandavania project. It's just been kind of sidelined at the moment while I'm just looking into different things and kind of learning the ropes, let's say. <laughs> yeah, kind of a joke there, maybe. Uh, yeah, so like I say, I will be doing more of these kind of things. I definitely will be doing more in GDevelop. If you'd like to see this kind of thing on the channel, either this channel or my other channel, I've not decided yet, or maybe you'd like to see some kind of tutorials, then please let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. But thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you later, guys.